Do I do this or do you do it? Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, please remain silent for the best man who wishes to say a few words. Just then, um, going to the toilet. <laughs> I, I haven't been as nervous as this since parents' evening when I was 13 years old. But, um, I'd like to say, start by saying what a pleasure it is to welcome you all here today to Sean and Kelly's wedding in the beautiful Bedfordshire in Bedford. I'd like to echo, well, I'd like to echo Sean's comments on how beautiful and cute the bridesmaids look today and how smart the ring bearer looked today. <laughs> I'd also like to thank the bride on behalf of the bridesmaids for the great honour of being privileged to uh, be part of the ceremony today with Kelly. Um, it was between me and Marvin, the waiter last night, who would be best manning today. <laughs> I fortunately won paper, scissors, rock. I tried to lose, but it was just unlucky for Sean. <laughs> I've never written an essay before. But this is the best essay I've ever written. Oh. It's, uh, it's bordering on a short novel. Oh, Pro no. Probably not going to be a Nobel Prize winner, though. Mm -hmm. So, when I thanked Sean for selecting me to be the best man, he replied, I can't wait to see you looking uncomfortable and nervous <laughs> doing your speech. <laughs> a true friend. <laughs> However, with many of my good friends sitting in a room with their girlfriends and plus ones, this will probably be my last best man speech. <laughs> Sean, I hope you're feeling nervous and uncomfortable. Yeah, I, am. I will begin. <laughs> my name is Ian, and Sean has had the pleasure of knowing me for 18 years. Uh, we first met when we were 11 years old when he first moved to Devon. It probably ended up being the worst decision the school ever made. <laughs> Letting Sean into our school oh and then putting us in the same form group. <laughs> our poor old tutor, uh, Mr. Kaisley, ended up taking early retirement to first year. <laughs> and uh, his favourite quote, which still echoes down Oakhampton College corridors, was, You silly little boy! <laughs> Mine and Sean's friendship blossomed outside of the classroom and outside of our year head's office, where we seemed to spend most of our days looking at a blank wall. Um, Sean has been like a little brother to me growing up, <laughs> borrowing money off me and getting me into trouble. Like oh, wow. Lysa, <coughs> yep, a little brother. He's bordering five foot eight. He, he, he's still shrinking. <laughs> and he's soon going to resemble a modern-day Gandhi on steroids. <laughs> <laughs> Joking aside, he's the kind of brother you want growing up, very protective of his mates, always someone you want backing up your corner, and uh, never shy of a night out, even when he had 10p in his back pocket. <laughs> so, like I said, I've known Sean for about 18 years. Yep, I know I don't look 18, but it's true. <laughs> well, just a bit older, maybe. My first impression of Sean uh, was when he first turned up in an art lesson when we was 11 years old, and I thought, who's the supply teacher wearing school uniform? <laughs> <laughs> this, this kid cannot be 11 years old. He's got a goatee beard and facial hair. <laughs> I, ha <laughs> I hadn't realised it then, but I've started to notice over the years uh, my good old friend here is old before his time. <laughs> and I'll give you some examples. At 14 years old, he had the body of a 35-year-old bodybuilder. <laughs> and if you'd like to open, there should be an envelope on your table. Oh, man. Uh, if you'd like to open it, we have a <laughs> see if you can work out which one Sean is. Bearing in mind he's 15. <laughs> Oh, Sean, can we see, please? Sean, Sean is the one in the middle, by the way. In the very middle. 15 years old. Yeah. 
We are going to be having protein shakes for pudding as well. <laughs> At 25 years old, he went home on a night out because he had heartburn. <laughs> that was a true story. I think he's... He's, <laughs> he's got... that line again. It hurts, really. He's got, he's got shares in Gaviscon, I think. <laughs> Um, at 26 years old, we had a real crazy one with Sean. We all come up to visit him, and we're going down to the pub, and he goes, guys, just got to pop into the library to renew my library. <laughs> <laughs> thing, was, thing was, he was renewing a seven-day lease on Noddy Goes Fishing. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to make out it was Emily's, we all knew that he needed a bit extra time to finish his seven-page epic thriller. <laughs> At 27 years old, he's sending his photos into country file. <laughs> True story again. And was recently sure. beaten by 72-year-old Sid. <laughs> the only time he has belied his years was when we was about 18 to 21. Sean always preferred wearing T-shirts designed for 12-year-old boys. <laughs> Tighter the better was Sean's fork. <laughs> and uh, we'd often spend half the night waiting for Sean to get into these t-shirts <laughs> that looked like they'd been sprayed on. <laughs> um, and we were talking about this with the guys and I, uh, I oh. mentioned it and I said, they've actually managed to dig out a couple of t-shirts he used to wear, when bearing in mind he was 18, 19 years old. So we want to return these t-shirts to Sean just so he can remember what these t-shirts looked like when he was 18, 19. He likes to come and do them back to shore and I think he wants his t-shirts. <laughs> Might need a bit of help. Um, we've had some great laughs growing up, and it's hard to reminisce them all in this one speech. At school, if we weren't flicking our fountain pens on teachers' back, Sean would be putting drawing pins on their seat, and we'd be arguing. We'd be arguing about who's got the better six-pack of Stella or Diamond White for the rugby club disco. Um, sometimes it was Kiwi 2020. Uh, where we went down to Simmons Park, where underage drinking began. Sean, with his hairy 15-year-old face and chest, <laughs> it, it was never a problem getting served when we were that age. Uh, college days at Oakhampton College weren't for Sean. Bit of a relationship breakdown somewhere along the line. Sean, however, trained to be a mechanic, earning £1.33p per hour. Uh, a little bit less than the average paperboy. Uh, but he's carried on with it. Um, but somehow we still managed to go out every weekend to Exeter, to talkie phone parties and to Europe's super club in Oakhampton called Nero's. Hey. Uh, the famous holiday to Magaluf where the bank of mummy and daddy would must have sorted you right out. <laughs> um, as I packed off to go to one of England's finest universities, Luton, <laughs> I left my good friend back in sunny Devon. However, it wasn't too long before he joined me up in Luton, and the conversation went a little bit like this when I was in America after my first year, was, how you doing, mate? Ah, I'm not too good. I don't think I want to be a mechanic anymore. It's just not for me. Sean's got no patience, by the way. I can imagine him sitting under a car trying to fix something, not going his way. A few tears would be streaming. So I said to him, why don't you come up to Luton University? Um, they let me in, so you're, you should get in as well. And, and so the journey went on. Um, many a crazy nights in the lovely Luton. Uh, Sean fancied himself as a bit of a rugby player growing up. Um, problem was he lacked that basic primary school skill of catching. Uh, <laughs> However, he was really good at tackling, and he did do some great tackles on the road sign at the end of our road at the university. Uh, several times, I think Luton Borough Council got a bit fed up of fixing it, and they eventually put concrete in it to, uh, to stop him doing it. Uh, Sean, unfortunately, learned the hard way. Uh, my, uh, my 21st to Amsterdam, and my brother here turned up at the train station 